Hey friends, welcome to Keto's Diary on yet another vlog in Kuno. In this particular vlog, I'll take you to three churches in Kuno. And this is the first one, the All Saints Church, which is in Bedford. This church is next to the Taj Gateway Hotel, if you're wondering where it is located. It was established in 1854. It has an English style architecture and it was formerly affiliated to the Church of England and then became a part of the Church of South India or the CSI Church as they call it uh, on the present uh, day. And I couldn't find much on the internet about this church, about who built it and um, you know details like that. My bad, I should have done my research before I came here. And one more fact that I would like to give you about the church is it seats about 225 persons. But I'll still talk about my experiences in this church. I grew up going to this church. I spent a lot of my childhood years going to this church on Sundays. The founder of Staines High Secondary School is buried with his family in this particular church. Now if you want to know what Staines High Secondary School is, I'll put the link on top and you can check it out. And uh, I hope you also have watched my evening walks in Kuno vlog. Actually this was an extension of that day we did go to this church. We just wanted to go and have a look around and uh, just go and say hello to our friends there. Yeah, we are wearing the same clothes, <laughs> of course. So some details are given here in the stones that are embedded on the walls. This is the interior of the church. I've always found the stained glass or the glass painting to be extremely fascinating. It is something very unique to this church and also the organ um, that was brought from uh, UK. Anyone who seems to know about the history or the details about the churches I show in this vlog, please feel free to give a comment in the comment section with all your details. It would be of great help to all those who are watching this vlog. Okay, so that's the tour about All Saints Church. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me see where I can take you next in Kano. Stay tuned. The next church that we are going to look at in this vlog is the St. George's Garrison Church, which is situated in Wellington, like I've told you in my first ever Kuno video. Kunno is a separate place and Wellington is a separate place. Wellington is a cantonment area which is affiliated or which is a part of the Madras Regiment Centre if I'm not wrong. So the building you see right here is the parsonage or where the pastor or the presbyter of the church lives in. Now in the garrison's church, the parsonage is just next to the church and these are the few uh, video snippets on the parsonage. Now all these are built in British style, they are British buildings, they were all built here when the British were ruling India and it's just maintained so well that the flavour and the, you know, the beauty of the church is still preserved. And these are the kids of the Garrison's Church. I actually shot this video before Christmas. They were practicing for their Christmas program. Now this red structure is the main church. So here are some quick facts. Actually they are very quick because I don't have many of it. Again it is the St. George's Garrison Church in Wellington. It was established in 1885. The church was mainly for the British troops to worship the Lord. Uh, on Sundays and this church can uh, seat around 600 persons. Just looking at this video while I'm editing it is when I realize how blessed I am to be in a place that is so rich in culture and history and how fortunate I am to go around these places. Speaking of which I would like to make a disclaimer here. I am not insisting on anything or I am not advertising Kunno or Uti when I show videos like this. I simply capture them when I visit these places and I share it on YouTube just like everyone does it. 
and my opinion about the tourists visiting kono is my own opinion uh, it is not uh, some sort of a hate that i'm showing on anyone nor am i the queen of india that you have to take my words so seriously and get hurt about it This is the interior of the Garrison's church and I just love the woodwork going on in the roof and I just love how archaic everything is inside the church it just takes you back in time and puts you back in the 17th or 18th century everything is so well maintained in the church inside out but the only sad thing is there are no much of members in the church so if you're anywhere around kunno and you're looking for a good place to worship in peace and silence you should definitely go to this church and just like all saints church this church is also affiliated to the church of south india or csi they are the reformed protestant churches that exist in india today and this church also has a beautiful pipe organ which I think was again brought from England. And the interior of this church will blow the mind of architecture fanatics, I promise you. Uh, even if you are a resident of Kono, just take your time to just come into this church and have a look at how beautifully it was built so many years ago and it stands strong even today. and this church can be spotted while you're coming to kono from uti the sandstone colored small little building that you see is this particular church now we also walked up to the clock tower which was the best thing i did in kono during that period i had these bunch of kids who accompanied me we walked up to the bell tower did i just say clock tower i'm so sorry this the bell tower no this is that massive big bell on the tower and this is the surrounding so this is how it looks yeah. we finally reached the bell tower yeah. Okay, so, yeah, so these kids are from this Garrison. church, yeah, Garrison's church, and we are at the bell tower, and it's a really long, <laughs> breath-taking view also, and a tiring walk. Now, this is yet another church in Kono. It is on the main road, on Mount Road. again another csi church it is john the baptist church this is one of the very few churches that have the name john the baptist church so that is very special to this church and this church is actually a tamil csi church so the people who love to worship the lord in tamil should definitely go and attend a sunday worship in this church it's beautiful the interior of this church is very simple yet elegant and Like I said, I filmed this church before Christmas and that is the reason why the churches are decorated or were getting decorated while I was there. Now there is no details at all in the internet about this church and like I told before, I never did a research on this. Now I'm feeling really bad. So this is John the Baptist Church, you know. This church means home to me. I was um dedicated in this church i grew up going to this church it's a very 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 special place to me and in this episode of my favorite churches in kunno i'm just showing you my tiny little beautiful church i hope you like it so this is where the children get baptized uh, like many traditional churches this church follows child baptism The service timings here 
are 7:30 a.m. and 9:30 a.m. they have both these uh, services at these two different times and it always comes with the lord's supper so if you are around and if you are a christian and if you want to worship you should visit this church uh, everyone will welcome you with open hands or open arms and next to the church or next to the bell tower is this coronation gate again the details are given here so that's it about my churches in kono episode hope you enjoyed it meet you again in another episode soon bye